this video, I'm going to explain different methods of using a safety shutoff button on your Gerbil controlled CNC machine. Well, the easiest way to make Gerbil stop moving immediately is by causing the microcontroller to reset. And you'll see that the reset pin on the Arduino is along with the power pins. All you have to do is wire up a switch so that when you activate it, it closes the circuit. It would jumper together these two signals. So I'm going to put one side into ground. Okay, that's ground. And then the other side will go to uh, reset. All right. Um, girl's still communicating. Let me go to reset. And I'm going to move the y-axis a little bit. All right. And you can see how quickly the motor stopped on hitting that button. The second method is to use Gerbil's reset slash abort input pin. And on a Arduino Uno, that will be analog zero, as you can see. So don't mind the fact that I'm plugging mine into analog eight. That's because I've adapted well, I haven't adapted. Someone else adapted Gerbil to work on an Arduino Mega, which I'm using because I have a lot of Arduino Megas. I'll do the same procedure. Get Gerbil moving and then hit the E stop. So now let's come back to the control panel and see what's different here. Because this time uh, we actually have an alarm status code before it just reset the microcontroller. Um, we have the alarm status code and the Gerbil welcome message. So what it did is it did a software reset, software reset, not a hardware reset. Um, and then it came back on with the message $x to unlock. That's the alarm message. That's how it knows it's in an alarm state. And because I have a graphical interface, I can click the unlock button and you'll see it says caution unlocked and that went away. Uh, so I can now jog again. Um, and we can notice that the I was able to unlock it with the reset button pressed, which I, I find that odd that it doesn't maintain, um, it doesn't uh, keep it locked. So I don't really like that, but there is another way to, uh, let me, now let me show you the third method of safely stopping Gerbil. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to leave the ground in, of course, and I'm going to hook up to the feed hold pin, which is analog input number one on the Uno, or number nine on the Mega. And this is, okay, so the feed hold pin is not a safety rated emergency stop function. It brings the motors down to stop slowly. Um, the idea of feed hold is it's just more like a casual pause button. However, it can be converted into a door ajar function by enabling that in config.h. Whenever you're um, compiling Gerbil, there's an option here that will reuse or repurpose the feed hold input to act as a safety door switch. So if you had a box around your CNC machine, you can have a little switch inside the door. Whenever you open it, it would stop what it's doing, turn off the spindle and cool it. Um, I think you can even program it to park, park the machine head and move the spindle out of the way and all that. Uh, and then you close the door and then you can press cycle start and it will resume right where it left off. Kind of nifty. Um, so with that option enabled, now, um, we'll give this thing a go. Take a look at our control here. Oh, you know, I forgot to tell you um, that the 
Arduino Mega has a separate dedicated pin for the door ajar feature, and I actually hooked it up to the feed hold. Um, so here you see that the message displayed is hold, so it's like a standard feed hold. Um, but what I actually want is the uh, door ajar, which is usually the same pin on a Nuno, but because they have a Mega and they've got lots of pins, they put door ajar on a separate, uh, separate uh, thing there. Okay, so I think I'll just give this a reset and jog this way. Um, so it's now displaying the word door on our notification bar there. And you can see that the actual Gerbil message was check door. And that's pretty cool because this, this is going to behave a little differently than all the other ones we've seen. Whenever I uh, release the stop button and I can press cycle start, and it finishes off the jog movement right to the position where it would have gone if you had not pressed the button. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Um, if you were running a G-Code program, it would continue where it left off. If you had a spindle relay, it would turn on a spindle, turn on coolant, stuff like that. Also, the door closed function will not let you jog while the door's closed. Um, and if I cycle start here, if I get it into a jog and I stop it and I try to cycle start while the button still clicked, it ignores me. So for that reason, um, I actually think this is pretty safe. The main thing that could be improved with my setup is if I made this, if I designed it such that cutting the wire would trigger a door stop, or I mean a, a door a jar. Right now it doesn't, um, but what I would have to do is um, make it so that the pin, or the door jar pin, is like activated by default and then whenever you jump her across you jump her to ground um, then it would be um, in a run state so for safety rated devices you know you want it so that um, a break anywhere in the connection will cause it to stop um, and for that you would want a active high input with an internal pull up so that when there's nothing connected it is going to basically go into a door jar state and then you have to you have to connect the button and turn it off which will close the circuit um, and so that would be one step improvement and I think I can do that just by um, configuring Gerbil to invert the logic on that pin there. Um, but you can't do that with the reset, the hardware reset. You might be able to do that with the uh, software reset or abort pin. Uh, so anyway, there's an overview of the three stop button methods. Um, that are available to Gerbil machines, kind of uh, how you practically go about using them. So hopefully you uh, found the video useful. Thank you for watching.